Good day, my name is Laksh Bell. I want to talk to you about some new updates about Celsius Chapter 11, sell token short squeeze, and then a brief overview about the general crypto markets as we go through this bear market right now. So let's talk about the sell token short squeeze. Well, when I heard about Chapter 11, and since I've received a lot of questions about this, I need to clarify this. When I heard about Chapter 11, I actually increased my position in the sell token short squeeze. Here's why. The probability that the sell token short squeeze was, ne is, was going to be um, a huge success and, and we are going to get a hundred dollar sell tokens was never huge to begin with. It was between 20 to 25%, but now it's down to maybe 10 to 15%. So the probability that the sell token short squeeze is going to be extremely rewarding for those who are participating is lower now. However, if it works, and there is a small chance that it does work, the rewards are going to be much higher. The rewards are likely to be much higher because 93%, over 93% of all sell token is locked into the Celsius wallets, various wallets right now. And uh, we have some whales who are still participating in the sell token short squeeze. And we have some other communities, including Hex, Wall Street Bets, and some other people who were previously customers of Luna, but not necessarily customers of Celsius, who are also participating in the sell token short squeeze. Some of them have a purely financial motive. I don't have a problem with that. Some of them have... Uh, some of them have uh, uh, another motive, like uh, punishing the shorts. And I don't have a problem with that either. As far as the balance sheet goes, it does not matter too much now because Celsius has declared bankruptcy. So the balance sheet aspect of the sell token short squeeze has changed. Now, one of the things I want you to know is that my position has increased, but even if all my orders fill, which I have one of the orders at 15 cents, even if they fill, my total position is going to be less than 1% of my portfolio. I'm still being very conservative with the sell token short squeeze or the sell short squeeze participation because I've always told everyone to hedge their bets, to manage their risk, so on and so forth. So the rewards are going to be bigger, but only if they happen. And there's no guarantee that it will happen. There is a smaller chance now that it will happen. And the reason for that is that Celsius is no longer buying sell tokens on the open market every week to distribute the rewards. And as such, we've lost one of the biggest whales participating in the sell token short squeeze, which was Celsius itself. So we have that problem, uh, but we also have better odds on our side. And as a consequence, uh, my position is slightly higher than it used to be while still remaining very, very conservative. So this is not financial advice, but I am telling everyone to not set this one out as usual to participate and uh, be very conservative while you participate because if it works, you can at least recover some of the funds that you might have locked up in Celsius for now. Now, let's talk about Celsius's plans for recovery. And not a lot of it has come from Celsius directly, but this is something that you've heard uh, in community chatter on Twitter or on other platforms such as Reddit. So the first idea is mining. I talked about this in my live stream two days ago, but I'll talk about it again. Mining is not going to pay back or fill up any holes. And I'll tell you because I have run a mining rig myself and I have a friend who runs several hundred mining rigs. I have another friend, a very close friend, who runs several dozen mining rigs. In fact, he's actually gone out to work on one of those rigs because they stopped working. And he works with Ethereum mining, which is also proof of, uh, proof of work mining. And here's the fact of the matter. Newer hardware produces most of its output within the first few weeks of being installed. So something like a GPU or an ASICS miner that was installed, let's say in the month of June, produces most of its Bitcoin or Ethereum within the first few months, let's say by July or August, than it does in the rest of its lifetime put together. And the reason why is because of rising hash rate. The hash rate goes up, especially in a bull market. So it's not just the price that is going up. It's also the hash rate that goes up because as mining becomes more and more profitable, more and more people start mining, which drives up the hash rate uh, in the end, reducing the profitability down to 
well very low numbers mining is not a very profitable business if you've ever involved been involved in mining or if you've ever uh, run a mining setup yourself you know that when you take out the costs of depreciation of hardware the cost of basically accommodating all that gear cooling all that gear cooling all those ASICs miners or GPUs, whatever. And then you take out the cost of electricity, and then you take out the labor costs of running this operation because you need people on this 24 seven, especially if you're a serious miner, right? Or a senior serious mining operation like Celsius is supposed to be. So mining might produce some profit in the future, but I don't see it filling up, especially since it's a $750, billion, $750 million, excuse me, uh, operation to begin with. I don't see it filling up multi-billion dollar holes anytime soon. Maybe a small percentage, maybe 10% or 5% of the hole, depending upon how markets move, can be filled up by the mining uh, ventures of Celsius, but that's about it. If you're hoping for more than that, you're going to be disappointed. And if people are telling you that this is how Celsius is going to pay back their loans or liabilities unfortunately that's not going to happen it's just not how blockchain works it's just not how hash rates work and mining business is one of the toughest out there because it's free money you know it's not that hard to figure out if you have some money and if mining is profitable you can buy some graphic cards or you can buy some a6 miners and go ahead and uh, basically yeah start uh, printing money out of thin air really right click a button get some money Right now, there are softwares such as the nice hash miner that make it so easy for you to mine, and the profitability is a little bit low with them. Uh, and I'm not saying that Celsius would use them or any industrial miner would use them, but it's so easy for anybody to be able to do this that people basically minted free graphics cards out of thin air because of uh, Bitcoin mining or Ethereum mining. This was why the prices of, uh, of graphics cards skyrocketed and there was no availability of the graphics cards for gamers and content creators and so on and so forth because miners were basically scooping up all the graphics cards and then the only way to get them was to pay two times sometimes three times the price on the used market by paying a scalper okay so let's talk about the possibility of getting equity. This is a personal decision, okay? You might have this option to receive equity instead of all your coins. So you receive a portion of your coins and then some equity. Well, the first thing is, I don't want to talk too much about this because this is going to be or likely to be months, if not years into the future. This is not going to be something that you have a power to decide or have the power to make a decision on right now. This is going to take months, if not years, to materialize. If I were you, I wouldn't take the equity and I'll tell you why. Equity is the difference of total assets and total liabilities. If total liabilities are greater than assets, then you have negative equity. So any equity you get is very close to being worth to zero dollars, if not more, <laughs> or if not less. Um, as of right now, insolvency or bankruptcy is a declaration that all equity in Celsius is now negative. So if you receive some of that equity, there is a chance that it becomes positive down the line. But as of today, as of right now, that equity is worth nothing. If Celsius can pull itself out of the hole somehow, and I don't know how they would do it, but if they pull themselves out of the hole, then that equity becomes worth something. Uh, in which case, if that ever happens, I'm not sure that you would be offered equity. So we'll talk about it when this becomes a real option and I'll get into the numbers and details and specifics. But for now, I wouldn't trust the options, any options, any plans that promise you equity because that equity right now is not even worth zero dollars. It's worth less than zero dollars. In other words, you're taking on more liabilities than assets if you receive equity in Celsius right now. Next, there has been um, chatter about uh, recalling withdrawals, sort of like a statute of limitations kind of stuff, whereby people who withdrew money or withdrew coins 90 days before Chapter 11 was filed, something like that, would have to return their coins or their stable coins or their Bitcoin or their tokens or their cryptocurrencies back to Celsius. Never gonna happen. There's no way to reverse blockchain, whether it's Bitcoin 
or ERC20 or any other blockchain. There's no way to reverse blockchains, okay? That's the first thing. That's why they're immutable. That's why we trust them. That's why they are trustless. They cannot be rolled back, and we've seen that in the past. Uh, billions of dollars could have been prevented from being lost, but blockchains were not rolled back, so that's not going to happen. Secondly, even if there's a court mandate, Celsius has customers worldwide, hundreds of countries, more than 100 countries. A US court has no jurisdiction over most of the customers who are located outside of the United States, so there's no way customers outside of the United States can be forced to return their coins to Celsius. And I'm not even sure that US customers can be forced to return their withdrawn coins back to Celsius. Uh, it's just going to be a quagmire of lawsuits and courts themselves would get challenged if they were to issue such a, such a decree. <laughs> There's no other word for that, right? A royal decree. Um, so that's not going to happen. The other plan I've heard about is, oh, um, Celsius customers can remain long, long term. Over the long term, if you're long, you can receive 100% of your coins now. And I'm just going to say that if you have the option to receive a haircut right now and receive some of your coins back now versus a promise, a promise, that's all it is, a promise of getting all your coins back sometime at an un unexplained, unspecified uh, point of time in the future, I would take whatever you can get right now. It's the old example of a bird in hand versus a bird in the bush or two in the bush. I would take half, even 30% of whatever I have in Celsius right now, even in equivalent stable coins or fiat, especially right now because this is a bear market that is going to continue to go down for a while and I can actually make a lot more money and trade a lot more wealth or stack a lot more Bitcoin by receiving those fiat tokens today or stable coins today or fiat money today than I can by, um, you know, uh, holding on and hoping for a better future. In other words, I don't want a promise. I want whatever I can get right now. So if it comes down to that, this is not financial advice, of course. I don't know who you are. I don't know your financial situation, but you should go out and talk to your uh, financial advisors, your legal advisors, your tax advisors, so on and so forth. And um, yeah, my view is, if it were me, I would talk to my tax attorney, of course, but I would take a haircut right now and get whatever I can right now, right off the rest, and move on with my life. Because uh, I heard someone saying, oh, I can wait eight years. I was going to wait eight years anyway. And if Celsius releases all my funds in eight years or all my coins in eight years, by that time, Bitcoin will probably be a million dollars or more. And I'm happy with that. Well, here's the thing. All you have is a promise. You had that promise one hour before Celsius halted withdrawals. Except now that promise is way out into the future. There is no guarantee that Bitcoin survives the next eight years or Ethereum survives the next eight years. Bitcoin isn't gold. It hasn't had a 5,000 year history. And I'm long on Bitcoin long term. I'm short on it short term, long on it long term. But there's no guarantee, it's highly likely, that Bitcoin goes to a million dollars within eight years or maybe a little bit more, a little bit longer. But there's no guarantee. Bitcoin may not remain the OG of crypto forever. Bitcoin may not remain the big blockchain forever. Anything can change. There's no guarantee that nothing will change. So I would rather receive a haircut and receive whatever I can as soon as possible than uh, receiving a lot more but only a promise or a promissory note that gets delivered to me years and years down the line. That's just me though. Uh, speaking of general crypto market now, uh, the trend is downwards. I mean, you're seeing some spikes from time to time. Bitcoin went up from 18 something to 21, $22,000. And maxis are like, hey, check this out, man. Uh, <laughs> that's not how market trends work. The entire markets that crash together are going to be uh, pulled back up together. And that includes Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. These assets are not disconnected from the rest of the world. It's not like one class of assets is uh, risk on and uh, cryptocurrencies are risk off. They behave exactly like or very similarly to tech stocks as of right now. 
So um, uh, the trend is downwards, which is why it's very important for me to get back whatever I can from Celsius, if it's a possibility, now, so that I can wait out a few more months, wait for the market to get as close to the bottom as it does, and then finally buy as much Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some other projects or cryptocurrencies that I want to invest in uh, at as close to the lowest price as possible. None of that happens if you wait for Celsius to, or if you elect, you know, it's right now it's not a choice, I get it. But if you actually deliberately elect for that to happen, you don't get to make choices. Someone else gets to make choices for you. That's the worst position to be in. So that's it from me. It's a short update, a quick update. I wanted to be sure that everyone understood that while I'm keeping my position small, I'm still participating in the sell to short squeeze. Markets are still trending down. None of the proposed plans so far are exceptionally good. And you don't really even have a voice right now. So uh, there's not much to talk about. I will talk about more. Uh, I will talk more about these uh, Chapter 11 related plans or Celsius related plans when they become a real possibility, when they present real alternatives for us. And I'm not going to call ourselves depositors. I'm going to continue to call ourselves Celsians or maybe Celsius customers. Uh, even if you don't believe in Celsius, I'm not going to call you a depositor. I'll just call you a Celsius customer. Um, and uh, yeah, finally, um, it's still not the end of the world. I mean, some people amongst us, some, some of the Celsians had more than 75% actually Jade, whose Twitter handle is uh, Crypto is my jam. She ran a survey where almost 25% of the participants said that they had more than 75% of their net worth in Celsius. And I really feel for you guys because you've got so much on Celsius and so much uncertainty on almost the entirety of your portfolio that it's not funny. It's really not funny. And I don't want you to subscribe to Hopium. I don't want you to give in to depression, but I don't want you to subscribe to Hopium. I want you to start making strategies based on what is observable reality right now. Not on a distant possibility, a promise. Not on some guy who tweeted that he had a new plan to make you whole in a reasonable amount of time. If that happens, when that happens, great. But you don't make your plans according to the best case scenarios. You make your plans to accommodate the worst case scenarios. So sad and depressing as it might be, this is something to get through. This is something to deal with. And this is something that you have to deal with now in the next few days, next few weeks, uh, before you can st start making sound decisions. I actually made a video about that. You can watch it right here. Uh, those were my immediate thoughts about Chapter 11. And I basically just talked about the emotional aspect uh, more so than the financial aspect of this whole thing. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that now. That said, my name is Laksh Bell. I just want to reassure you that even if you lose everything, I've lost everything in the past several times. You know, I can't even count on, on my hands, on my fingers, how many times I've lost everything. And this has happened to me again and again. And... That is how I learned all my risk management principles. You know, it took me a while to learn that. And I went into negative equity, six figures worth, at least a couple of times. Negative equity worth five figures, several times. And it's fine, you know, it takes a while, but you learn. If you keep your head cool, you know, if you keep a cool head, you can come out of it stronger and smarter than ever before. So this is a bad time for a lot of us, but You've, we've all experienced those cycles of bad, bad times and good times, right? So you have good times, then you have bad times, good times, bad times. If these are the bad times for you, you just got to survive them. Eventually, you'll get back to the good times. Have a great day.